Dennis here, how are you? Welcome to another video. Today we're going to talk about something uh, a little different, a little different uh, stroke. But I had a lot of people asking uh, if I use it, what do you think about it? And I think it's, it's a great resource. I use it a lot. In all the ciphers I played, I, I always use it. And I'm talking about the slice with side spin, okay? Bouncing to the outside instead of hitting a slice down the line that is going to go straight. The one that you make the core for the inside of the court and then bounces and goes to the outside. I think it's it's amazing. It's a great resource if you have it and if you know how to do it because it's gonna give you. Think about this. You're running to the ball. Okay, you're running on the forehand and you have a ball that is not only gonna bounce low but it's gonna go to the side. So it gets far from you all the time. But you have to know a couple of things about it that I'm gonna give you. Okay, from how I learn it, from my example and how I teach it. The little tricks that are going to help you to, to get that ball uh, really effective to really punish your opponent. So the first one, of course, always you have to get low. Okay, You have to get um, from under the ball. And you have to know how to recognize the ball that you're going to hit. Because you, you cannot hit this shot from every ball. If, the other, if your opponent hits a, a flat, really fast backhand cross court and you want to try to get with that ball, I mean, it's going to be really tough. You, you need a crazy control. But even though it's gonna be really hard, so you have to be kind of like a smart. And I always use it with short balls. Maybe your opponent hits a slice that he gets short on the ball, it doesn't push you back all the way, or he hits a ball, uh, a backhand that is a little low, and it's kind of like floating, and you have the time to get in there. And I always try to also, very, very important, okay, detail, to hit it from this line, okay, from this line here. So it will be almost like two steps from the sideline to the middle. If I have a ball around here that I can hit, because if you hit it from close, the base is the sideline, okay? Remember, this ball has to get to the outside, so you don't, you don't have already the good angle to hit it. So not to the middle, because the middle will be bounced in the middle and doesn't get all the way out. So kind of like 50%, okay? On this half of the court, 50%, you can get it, yes, and get it bounced close to the line and then go to the outside really effective so again get under the ball and there is, when you hit it, this one it, okay it's sending here the difference between the slice the slice you're gonna get okay here you're gonna hit it and you're gonna keep the racket up remember I have a video uh, of the slice you can click here if you haven't seen it the slice you're gonna hit it and it stay there okay or hit it and transfer your way forward in this one you will need to get kind of like a slap the ball okay from under and the racket instead of going forward is gonna go to the side because you need again to get the ball from from the side okay if, if we get the ball here as a watch you're gonna kind of hit it like on the five of the ball okay not the six if not the ball is gonna go up kind of like getting from the five of the club and then take it outside with a really good control of the hand and kind of like slapping and stopping in here because if you follow all the way the ball is gonna take too much size spin to the side so i'm gonna show you a couple of balls hitting from behind and then okay we're gonna talk a little about Right, so I show you there two different uh, points of view of this ball. First one from behind, the second one from under. The one from under, I wanted you to see how I get there, get the ball, okay? And you can see there because it's closer that I don't hit the ball. Okay, you don't have to hit the ball harder. From behind, you're gonna already see that what I do is just get here, kind of like it wasn't a slice, but what I just changed here is instead of getting with the face of the racket there, I get it more from the side and just keep it. But I slap the ball instead of going, okay, with more rhythm like the slice here, I slap it to the side. You could see there how the ball opens and how it goes really, really low. 
Again, very important here how you do it, but the most important thing is to choose the ball with which one you're gonna do the shot, okay? If you do it with the wrong ball, that's it. It's gonna be probably out, probably it goes wider, goes to the net. So be smart on what ball you choose. And when you do it, okay, you can practice, practice. Just make it effective, make it go to her side that is gonna really complicate your opponent. And of course, after this, you have to go to the net, closing the angles, okay, instead of getting hitting here, you're not gonna go to the middle because you open the angles for him. You're gonna hit it, okay, from here and kind of like go uh, covering more the, the down the line and finishing the cross court, uh, going diagonal, okay? Again, if you stay in the middle, you open the court. If you go more close in here, here you can cover the down the line and here going forward, you can cover the cross court to finish the point, all right? If you like it, guys, please leave the like, leave any comment that you want, such as videos and everything. I'm, I'm gonna be here uh, answering and trying to help you guys. Remember, subscribe to the channel if you didn't. Connectingtennis.com, you have a lot of content, Facebook, Instagram, everything, every day. A lot of uh, different uh, trainings and drills for you. So that's it for today. See you in the next one. Thank you, guys.